A Myanmar army chief Min Ong Klein is vowing to strike back against ethnic armies which united to launch an offensive a week ago. An alliance of three powerful armed groups seized strategic outposts in the north in their strongest attacks against the military since the coup. CNA's Leong Mai Kit tells us more. Myanmar's military is on the defensive after a wave of attacks by ethnic armed groups in its restive north. At 4 a.m. on 27 October, three ethnic armies known as the Brotherhood Alliance launched Operation 1027 in northern Shan, which borders China. The aim, to root out the military regime and vices like cyber scams. Another ethnic armed group attacked military-run offices in Keyin State. Days later, Kachin State was targeted. Sagaing, Chin, Magui and Kaya have also seen escalating clashes since the coup in 2021. But even before that, various ethnic armies have been clashing with the military over territory. Analysts say the Brotherhood Alliance has been building up its troops for a while and that the motivating factor is really a dispute over territory rather than a broader goal. When you reach a war or combat, you need some kind of political justification. And right now, the, the, the most acceptable or easiest way of political justification is to work for the cause of something. The most significant part is the, the coordination. We also knew that, you know, the joint operation is the very difficult task, uh, especially if you have a very different language. Uh, imagine you as Ogun who, who speak primarily Chinese and Rakhine who speak Rakhine dialect. And, you know, trying to keep this operation under, out of the radar, that is the uh, most significant. Myanmar's civilian national unity government says it will join forces with the Brotherhood Alliance in its latest operation. The Myanmar army and its supporters have slammed the attacks as acts of terrorism which led to the deaths of civilians, including children. The Brotherhood Alliance is portraying a grimmer picture for the military. It says it's captured at least 90 military bases with whole battalions of soldiers surrendering. But Ms. Amaratiha says it's unclear if the alliance can sustain the operation. Overrunning the outposts is the one thing, and the capturing the city is another thing. Uh, capturing the city requires the extensive resources and strong logistical support. Now, I'm not sure the Brotherhood Alliance or none, uh, the other non tech armed actors have enough resources. The events appear to have spooked China, which sent its public security minister to visit Nepidor. Beijing has repeatedly called for an immediate end to violence and for all parties to resolve the issues through peaceful talks. But analysts say that China is unlikely to interfere directly, at least not for now. Now, some observers are saying that they're seeing signs of de-escalation. For one, not all ethnic armies are joining this operation as some fear retaliation and being targeted by the Myanmar army afterwards. What remains to be seen is how Operation 1027 will continue to play out and if China will be compelled to step in to actively mediate if violence escalates. Leung Waikid, CNA.